This morning, Tom and I ventured out to check out a metal building construction project that had apparently blown over this past weekend. The contractors were in the process of erecting the steel frame when something went terribly wrong. A big old bar. And then what do you think happened? Um, by the looks of it, they had all the main beams up, uh -huh. girts up, mm -hmm. and roof purlins up. They had it all tied together. Mm -hmm. I just don't think they had any cross bracing. Oh. And no tin on it yet. Because the tin has, acts as a big diaphragm. Uh huh. Then it can't shear. But when you have just a bunch of sticks where they're connecting, it's just, you know, there's no strength there except for where the bolts are, you know. Mm hmm. But once you put a big flat piece on there, then it can't torque oh. and twist. And so do you think the wind just came up and pushed it over? I imagine, yeah. And wow. they didn't have enough cross bracing in it. And once you get that whole structure starting to move a little bit, uh -huh. and then once a couple critical points, you know, the steel webs fold a little bit, then it just, there's no strength to it at all. Oh. And it just falls down. Back at the shop, I get a better feel for what may have gone wrong by looking at our building. Well, like when we erected this building, uh -huh. we started with this bay. Right. And that's because you have all this cross bracing. If you look at this end wall, see the cables that go. And this is much smaller, of course, but yeah. you got the cross bracing there, you got the cross bracing in the roof. Oh, in the roof too, yeah. And then on uh -huh. this, and even in the side wall. And basically what the cross bracing does is tie these beams together so they can't they can't sway this way. Mm -hmm. And then uh, like the cross bracing here keeps that wall from swaying this way. Oh. And then the roof it can't it can't rotate with the cross bracing in the roof. Uh huh. And so what that does is once you get this bay up uh -huh. and cross braced, this becomes kind of a pretty stable section of the building. Mm -hmm. Then what you do, we set this next beam. This one right here? Right. Set that beam. Uh -huh. And then once you tie it together with the wall, <coughs> with the wall uh, girts and the roof purlins, uh -huh. then, that, the, then this beam's tied to this structure To the here, first bay. And it's pretty stable. Okay. I'm wondering if they didn't have a cross braced enough. Yeah. Is what, and when, you know. Right. And then that's when your building is the most vulnerable is be, while you're erecting it because uh -huh. you don't have any tin on it and the tin creates a diaphragm and to shear everything, you're shearing all those little screws in your tin and buckling the tin and that doesn't normally happen. Oh. So I, I you know, this, kind of theory but I almost think the cross bracing mm -hmm. is almost most important for when you're erecting the building um, it certainly helps as the buildings here standing right but I think a lot of it is just for the erection of the building hmm.